Hey y'all, today we're going to be doing a fog light installation on this third gen Tacoma. These fog lights are LED pods from Cali Rays with their own mounting brackets. Before we hop on into the installation, we're going to paint match these mounting brackets to this army green color right here. Alright, let's jump right in. So first things first, I'm going to do some sanding on these brackets. Uh, they're rust free, they're clean, they're brand new, so I'm just going to do a 180 grit on here and clean it with mineral spirits and then we'll lay some primer. So now that that's all primed and ready, the next step is paint. We're going to be doing primer, the base coat, and clear coat. I'm going to be following the specific instructions for Easy Repair Automotive. That's the brand paint I got. And the paint code for Army Green is 6V7 for anyone that's interested. So next up, we're going to install these fog lights into the brackets themselves. Just go ahead and feed the wiring through. And then slide the fog light through. So these holes right here in the pod line up with the holes in the brackets. This is a little tricky. I ended up having to use a, another YouTube video to figure this one out. But I'll put a link to that below. But there's a little notch where the 10 millimeter nut fits into and I thought I could just tape a wrench to it and just line it up because it'll fall too far in otherwise but uh the best tip I've gotten so far is to put a piece of cardboard behind it to keep it from falling out of reach 
of the thread of the bolt. Let's see if this works. Carefully drop that in there. Okay. All right, yeah, it's right there. Perfect. Hand tighten it. Well, I'm not gonna tighten it all the way so I can do some adjustments. Is it threading? The, uh, the metal in the pot itself that surrounds the nut keeps it from spinning. All right. Okay, that, that is a good tip. So now I'm gonna try it on the other side. Yeah, that's kind of a better shot. You can see, uh, maybe not see the lighting in here. It's not so hot. There you go. Right there is the notch for the nut. And then there's where you put the cardboard. So. Yeah, okay, that's not too bad. Oops. Can you see that? So now it's being held in place. Right there. Okay. Oops. Have to do a little adjustment there. Tighten it up, do a little adjustments, but that's what it should look like. All right, I'm probably gonna just speed it up from here on for the next one. So the install video from Cali Ray suggests you go in from the back, take out the fog light first, and then remove the fog light bezel. But I'm feeling kind of lazy and I don't really want to have to remove the inner fender liner to get that access. So I'm going to just use a plastic panel removal tool from the front, see if that works. And uh, I may be eating my words in a couple minutes, but let's see. the last one. Alright, there we go. Hmm, I still don't have access to that one Phillips head right here. Dang it. Yeah, I may end up having to go in through the back. Let's see. Let's 
a bummer. All right. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get a camera angle in there, but it's this right here. And so I'll just take off those few bolts on the backside of the inner fender liner and it should give me pretty good access. All right, so I'm gonna try to film with one hand and uh, use the drill with the other. But I'm thinking I can get away with just removing this one and this one. That should give me enough space to get my hand up in there. These two bolts are for the air dam that are no longer on this vehicle. And uh, so don't worry about that. Is that also the air dam? Yeah, that's the air dam. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this one-handed. I'm a righty, so this could be interesting. Ooh, not bad. Now it's free. I can bring this through. And I'm going to take. So I'll go ahead and pop this up here. There we go. So that's out. And then this light's not going to be reused, but now it's free. All right, so this is the only hole we're going to be drilling today. When we do the install, this tab slides in right here, and then the stud will go through there, and then we'll just put the nut on. Uh, it's kind of on a strange angle, um, but it, everything online says the hole should just go right in the middle, so if I need to bore it out a little bit, we'll see. I'm going to start with a smaller hole. Get what the correct size is, but I have a 5 16 here. I'll start with that. Nice. So, let's see how that fits. Just thinking it's too small. I can see where I am. Okay, so I need to bore it out a little bit to the top right. some more or push it nah I need to more I do want it to be snug let's see yeah, that should be plenty let's check that there we go looks pretty good so now we'll just do the wiring and put that nut on. So, oh, oh, nice. Oh, okay. Well, that hole's a nice size. That should hold it snugly. Grab the wiring. There we go. So, let's see if we can get this into frame. We have our adapter. So, this piece, this two prong. Should click right in. Nice, that sounded good. But then this should go right into the factory two prong. Is that correct? No. There we go. That sounds good. I might cross that bridge later. Good.
All right, everybody. So that wraps it up. The fit and finish is very nice. I wasn't sure if the green was going to be too much, but I think it complements the rest of the truck quite nicely. I hope this encourages anyone out there to try paint matching theirs if they go this route. But, uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about the process or anything like that. I'll check back in with the reliability. And, uh, I hope it lasts. I've got the paint to do any touch-ups as they come along. There it is.